Hello and welcome to Tabletop Oddity. My name is Jay and today I'm just doing a quick little channel chat update thing. Um, I think the last one was three weeks ago and um, so I obviously not nothing drastic has really changed or anything like that but thought I'd come on. First thing you might notice due to uh, complaints, you know who you are. <laughs> uh, we've added a few little posters. We've not put anything on the door because uh, you wouldn't, we wouldn't see it because the door is normally open. It's only really closed when I'm recording. But we've put a little world map over here, uh, which obviously it's a bit blurry because it's far away, but it, it adds a bit of visual interest. And we've got a little Pikachu up here. So when we open the door, we can still see him. If we add it further back, you wouldn't you wouldn't see Pikachu. So that, hopefully that like adds a little bit of visual interest. Um, I tried to make the coolest pop, and I'll sort that out another time. But um, yeah, so that's why it looks a little different. So what has changed since the last channel update? Number one, I have like a part-time job. No, that's a true. That's not true. It's a full-time job. But it's a temporary job. It's only for four weeks. Possibility of permanent, but uh, the place that I'm working, they need to like offer it internal and stuff like that. So I might not get it long term. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, I'm going to try my best so that I walk away with the prize. Um, yeah, if I can get that job, I'm more than happy. Like it's 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 fine. It's perfect. It's actually it's actually a really good job for me to be to have it. It's like doing data analysts and the uh, business analysts and stuff like that. I really would like I'd like that long term. Um, so that's me done. Uh, it's, it was interesting to have the summer holidays off. I probably didn't utilize it enough for the YouTube side of things, but you know, it is what it is. Obviously, your mind goes a little bit out the window, kind of thing. Um, so that's that. <coughs> um, something that I keep, I just like keep mentioning every video because it's just not happening. Um, internet, internet. So uh, I'm not happy with Virgin Media. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I really want Virgin. Uh, Virgin is basically the UK's, let's just say, best fiber optic provider. Um, yeah, they messed me about a little bit. They said basically at the end of July, middle of July, they were like, "Yeah, we're gonna get it to you." And now they're saying we actually have no idea when you're gonna get it. It might be three weeks. It might be uh, months. So not particularly pleased or happy about that. Um, well, I've gone. I've I've ordered BT's fiber optic. I'm hoping they'll just whack it whack it on and install it, but there's no guarantee they will. And if they can't, I'm hoping I'll get ADSL, which is the old kind of broadband. Uh, I just need something without like data caps. Um, it's imperative at this point for the kind of content that I want to make. Um, for example, I really want to do battle reports because like when I get, I'm like out of ideas for it right at this moment. I couldn't think of anything to record a video, so I was like, I'll do a channel chat. Um, but this would have been a perfect time for me and Katie to go downstairs, play a game, record it, possibly could have it edited by tomorrow. Um, but the reason I can't do that is the file sizes are so large and I'm data capped that I can't really go doing that. I can't go uploading a 4 gigabyte uh, or even maybe a 5 gigabyte file as that is literally um, a tenth of the, our data for the month. So so I can't really justify that. Um, so we're not doing that, which I think makes sense, obviously. But... Um, it BT, BT could be two weeks away, could be longer away, but the internet is super important to me. Um, and I'm, I'm trying my best. I kept ringing Virgin like every day, but, you know, it didn't happen. So we're still trying on that one. And then let's have a look at the other games, right? Well, I, I'm pretty much settled now on my, like, on my on the main games I'm planning on playing. I think, like, um, I played a game against a guy called Nick at Element Games just the other day. Um, he beat me, but I'm not happy about that. But let's not talk about that. <laughs> um... And uh, yeah, like I'm, I love. I think Legion is such a great game, uh, and I'm gonna. I just, I'm, I'm in love with it, um, and I'm just gonna keep going with it. There's no, no doubt about that. If it falls off YouTube-wise, maybe, like I would possibly like lower it in the stand, like in the tier of the games that I play. But I really like it so much, so I can see me playing that for years and years and years. It's absolutely fantastic. I would like to do. Um, more painting tutorials and stuff like that. Now that I've got a job, my like time obviously is a little bit lower, but um, I really enjoy doing my tabletop standard painting tutorial, um, and I'm going to try and do more of that because, as like as I we mentioned in the Discord, I thought I'm seeing myself as like Serasto's rejects, <laughs> but not just like not even in like skill, but just in like time and effort. Like 
the man is an absolute legend and a, a, a god at what he does um, and I'm like whack on your base colours I use these base colours and put a wash on it and we'll highlight it a little bit when you're done <laughs> like that's basically what those tutorials are going to be but it'll just show you what the colours I use and uh, you know the outcome kind of thing speaking of painting Katie started painting the rebels which I'm very happy about because it means I don't have to do it um uh, yeah I mean they're nothing special at the minute she's only put two colours on them but uh, she's getting involved which I'm quite happy about Legion, I'm loving Legion, fantastic, love the game, want it to be a bit more popular in the area because it's a little bit hard to get to an event like uh, FFG Nationals was like August, early August I think, um, and the next event that I can properly go to is in October, it's a bit of a big gap, but you know, I'm sure with time it'll build up. Kill Team, I need to play more Kill Team, I can't find, like all the events that are happening are happening at bad times for me and I can't get there properly. Uh, so I'm, I need to try and find a way of getting pick-up games of Kill Team. So if anybody knows, I mean Stormforge in Warrington is by far the easiest place for me to get to, but I could get to Element Games if required. Um, if anybody's around that area and wants a game of Kill Team, then my uh, my badly painted, not quite finished Space Marine Army uh, Kill Team roster is ready to go. Uh, so I need to play more Kill Team, and again, Kill Team is something I'd like to do battle reports on with Legion, um, but, you know, uh, the internet is a bit of a problem. However, the game is generally shorter, so the battle reports will be a bit shorter. Um, and then obviously we've got X-Wing, and obviously X-Wing 2nd Edition has come out now. X-Wing is probably my third game, purely because I'm never going to hit the, well, not that I, not even in the rest of the games that I'm going to hit the top level of competitiveness, but it's, it's, got, it's the kind of game that requires, hmm, that's not true, it's the kind of game where the most, a lot of the people who play it are like quite, competitive like that's a bulk of the players now that might be the same for the other games but it's got the hobby side of things whereas x-wing is like it's the only it's the play side and you either play well or you're garbage and i'm going to be in the garbage category right so um it's really like i'm never going to be like let's have a look at the meta analysts and i'll tell you why it's wrong or good because I, well, i'm not going to know <laughs> do you know what I mean? Um, I'd like to, again, I'd still like to do battle reports on that. I've picked my faction, I've picked my, like, conversion kit up, um, and, yeah, I'm going to get that. Now, the one thing I would talk about X-Wing, um, in a channel chat about four months ago, I said I'd probably end up doing an X-Wing giveaway, right, uh, like, of the core set, uh, and that's not happened. I, I didn't even, I've not mentioned it since. The reason is because um, I lost my job, obviously, so it wasn't really the most sensible time to start giving away stuff out of my own pocket so I haven't done that obviously I've got a job now but it's temp so I sort of still need my money <laughs> I need my money not you <laughs> no obviously I, I'm really upset about it I would have really liked to have done that um but I can't justify it and it, we hadn't started the competition or anything like that I just mentioned that it might be something I was going to do and I've not done and I feel bad about it but I think it's I don't think anybody would be like oh you get you promise this like you know, uh, it's not something I can legitimately, like, do. So I'm not doing it right now. Um, obviously, in the future, I would like to do a giveaway. Like, my Patreons have obviously, like, really helped to my hobby kind of thing, like, especially without having a job. So I really do appreciate that. Like, it, I, I had a bit of savings still, but um, being like, oh, I get $20 off Patreon a month or you know maybe even twenty dollars off youtube that really allowed me to be like yeah it's okay if i buy the han solo and it's okay if i buy the rebel commandos because the hobby is sort of paid for that so that's something i can use obviously long term i'd like to use that to um support the channel with like giveaways and um you know maybe buying stuff that i wouldn't otherwise buy um even or maybe even improving the quality of the content like i talked about doing battle reports but Maybe I could buy another capture card and we could do them live. I, you know, I have no proper plans right now, but um, I really just want to say thank you to all my patrons. That really helped me hobby-wise, especially without having a job. Um, anything else? Katie started painting. I've mentioned that. No, not really. Um, I, I'm very much aware that I've not done enough terrain. <laughs> Don't hate me. So for October, October, I'm probably going to do like an orc series of terrain something like that uh, maybe um and i'm still trying to finish my lotho hills um yeah a bit like because i was at interviews and get and got in the job like my time sort of quickly vanished and now it's a case of like finding my new routine and getting up and running so that's a concentration i've planned I've, I, it's half built 
in the in that room which you can't see but because there's a wall there's a wall right here just in case you can't see that this is a wall um <laughs> yeah it's in that room though and i will try and finish it and i'll try and do a bit more terrain because i'm very much aware that people like that um, and that's it i hope that's just what's going on channel wise and what's going on me wise um What's going on you wise? I mean, I guess I don't know, but we don't know what we're talking about general. If you want to have general chats and just chats about life and even the hobby, I'm always on Discord. Literally, if you, anybody message on Discord, I pretty much always like get involved in the conversation. Uh, Facebook, people, only I tend to post in the Facebook group. <laughs> people will reply to me and stuff like that. Um, but I, I'd love to see people's like uh, stuff in Facebook. But I think it's just that like Discord generally is getting used more. But if you are, if you only have Facebook, then please do join that. All the links are in the description below. Have a most beautiful day. Like and subscribe. Never don't like. Just subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And uh, goodbye. Have a beautiful day. Bye.